As you can imagine, doing what I do, I've worked on hundreds, if not thousands, of different Rust servers for various different people all around the world. Whether I'm working on the actual server mechanics or plugin issues or whatever, I've worked on a ton of different servers. And over my many years of working on different servers, I've come up with three things that I do on every single situation, no matter what it is that I'm trying to do or fix. I'm gonna share those three things that I do on every single situation that I'm working on, and hopefully it'll save you some headaches if you run into any of these issues. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plugin reviews and tutorials, plus I wanna give you all of the tips and tools that are gonna make your Rust server ownership so much easier. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on and to get the latest updates on the Rust development world. I'll remind you a couple of times throughout the video to hit that like button if you're enjoying what you're watching, so please remember to do so. All right, let's get on to today's video. So the first two steps that I'm going to talk about today, they might seem fairly self-explanatory and probably fairly obvious, but believe it or not, a lot of times when people are bringing me problems or something's going on with their server, they actually skip over these steps. They look for a more complicated problem when in most cases the simplest fix is probably the best fix. So the first step that I always do is reboot the server. And in today's example, it just so happens that I have a server that's completely locked up. And if you'll notice, it's been up and running for just over six days, which if you've watched any of my previous tutorials, you know that I would suggest that you reboot a server every 24 hours, but this is just my test server. So I don't implement that rule here. So we're actually going to reboot this server and I imagine it's going to fix whatever issue I happen to be having on this server. But because I'm with iced host, a couple of different things happen every time you reboot your server. So the first thing it does, is it's going to check with Steam and make sure that there's not an actual server update that needs to be done. If there is one, it will automatically do it. Because believe it or not, Steam will sometimes actually put out an update and if you don't have any type of a monitoring system, you'd have no way of knowing that they did. If you're a member of my Discord, obviously you know that you get the updates there whenever Facepunch puts out a new update, it will tell you in my Discord. Or if you have a similar update bot in your Discord, then obviously that's how you would get notified. Otherwise, you may not know that there's an update required for your server. The second Second thing it's going to do is check and see if there's an oxide update if you're using oxide on this particular server and on this one I am. So it's going to check with oxide, see if there's an update and if there is one, it's going to do that one as well. That's actually the second step that I suggest whenever you're troubleshooting something. So that is obviously make sure you're running the latest version of oxide or now carbon. And if you're outdated on either one of those things, obviously update that as well. Now, again, because I'm with Iced Host, it's going to automatically do all of that stuff for me in one action. So just to show you what's going on with this particular server, I'm just going to run a couple of commands. As you can see, I've already tried to run a couple of different commands and nothing happened on the server. I've also tried searching for this server in my Rust directory and it's not showing up, which means this server is completely locked up, even though right here, it looks like it's not. So try to change the time to 10 AM. That doesn't work. The restart command doesn't work. In Info doesn't work, nothing works, no commands work. So the only thing I can do on this server right now is restart it. So I am just gonna hit the hard restart button, but I also might need to hit the kill button right after that, but we'll see how this actually goes. So this might take a couple of minutes to actually do all of the updates, but I don't wanna edit any of this out because I want you to actually see what's going on. So I might speed this section up and obviously mute the audio so that you don't have to listen to what that sounds like when it's all sped up. So the restart button did nothing. So yes, I am going to have to hit the kill button. So there is actually a server update that needed to be done on this server. So it's doing that right now. And I am actually running carbon on this server as opposed to oxide. So it should check for a carbon update as well. And there it just did the carbon update. So the rest of this is obviously just regular server boot up, but I just want you to recognize that it did actually need all of the things that I've talked about so far in this video server update as well as a modding platform update in this case that was carbon. And then the third thing that I always go after is checking plugins for updates. A lot of times you run into a problem with a specific plugin. It's not acting the way that it's supposed to, or maybe it's not even compiling at all. And you've completely lost that functionality, whatever that plugin happens to be. So checking all of your various different sites for updates can be tedious, especially when in my case on my live server, I'm running over 147 plugins on there. It's hard to keep track of where they all came from. So to keep my plugins up to date at all times, I use a plugin called Update Checker. It's available from codefling.com. I'm going to put a link to it in the video description down below. And most importantly, this plugin is is free. And one of my favorite things about this plugin is it checks for updates across 
all of the main modding websites. So that's UMod, that's CodeFling, that's Chaos Code, as well as Loan.Design. So if you have plugins from any one of these four sites, Update Checker is going to keep track of whatever plugins you have on your server. And if you're familiar with webhooks, you can actually put one of your webhooks inside the configuration file for Update Checker, and it's going to report any required plugin updates directly to whatever Discord channel you tell it to. So anytime there's a version update on a plugin that my server is monitoring, it sends me a message directly to my Discord Discord telling me, hey, it's time to go update this plugin. So this example that I have on the screen right now on my vanilla server, the Vanish plugin on UMod needs an update. Obviously, I'm not going to do that while we're on video. I'll take care of this later. On my 2x server, the MLRS Hellfire plugin needed an update. I've already taken care of that one. I should have deleted that message and I didn't. But today I have a notification that the Vanish plugin, obviously it got an update. So it pushed to all of the different servers that I have telling me that Vanish needs to be updated on this server as well. And the same thing goes for my 100x, whatever. I'm not going to go through all those details. I was actually hoping that there was going to be a whole bunch of plugins that needed to be updated on the 100x so that I could show you what that message looks like. But I'm hoping that all of you are fairly familiar with Discord and you understand what it would look like if I had multiple different plugins in there that needed to be updated. And just by some fluke, I was actually able to catch it in my console. It does report that information there as well. So you don't have to have the plugin send that information to your Discord if you don't want it to. That information is in the console. Now, one more great feature about this plugin is that this link right here is clickable. So we can click on that link and it's going to take you to the page where the update is required from. Boom, there we go. Takes me directly to the Vanish page. I can download it. I can install it onto my server. Done. Everybody's happy. So we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on the configuration file for Update Checker, but there are two important things that I need to bring your attention to. The first one is obviously the webhook. So if you want it to report to your Discord, you obviously have to create a webhook integration. I've done tons of videos on that in the past. You should be fairly familiar with that. And then the other thing that I need to make you aware of is that you don't have to manually go in and enter all of the different plugins that you want this plugin to monitor. When you first install Update Checker into your server, it's going to grab all of your existing plugins and add all that information to the configuration file so it automatically knows which plugins need to be monitored. If it so happens that you have a plugin on your server that you don't want to be notified when there's an update for, you can toggle it off in each individual section of the configuration file. So let's say I didn't want to get updates every time Kill You puts out a new version of admin menu. I can simply go into the configuration file and toggle the ignore new version to true, save this, reload update checker, and it'll ignore any new updates that come out for admin menu. And obviously you can do that for every single plugin that you have running on your server. And yes, as you're adding new plugins to your server, update checker will check and add the new plugin that you've added to your server into the list of plugins that it monitors. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click that button right there. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can hit that button right there. And of course, if you want to learn even more more tips and tricks, check out this playlist on the left hand side of your screen. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.